Welcome inside the Tele Center here in the TV21 studios for Wednesday, May 20th, 2015. I'm Vin Ebenu. Coming up on today's show, South Seaside Park residents look to secede from Berkeley Township and join Seaside Park. Plus, other news and sports stories from around New Jersey. Stay tuned. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Does retirement have to wait until my 70s? He's a great college for our kids. Out of the question. Is the American dream out of our reach? Not if we can help it. We're the National Endowment for Financial Education, a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping people just like you get smart about their money. Log on to smartaboutmoney.org today and start taking control of your financial life. Good morning again, I'm Vin Ebenu and here are today's top stories. Hearings continue in Berkeley Township at Township Planning Board meetings over South Seaside Park residents wishing to leave Berkeley Township and join Seaside Park. Residents from South Seaside Park state travel distances to town meetings and schools are of greater distance than to those in Seaside Park. Others voice concern about what lack of police presence they feel is in their neighborhoods as well as cleanliness of beaches amongst various cited reasons as motive to annex the town. Berkeley's planning board continues to hear from South Seaside Park residents and their attorney, Joseph Michelini, on the first Thursday of every month as to why they no longer feel a part of Berkeley Township. The planning board continues to listen to testimony provided by SSP residents and question the testimony to better understand why this group wishes to leave the township. The resulting motive to annex by South Seaside Park residents is unclear at this point in time. The next planning board meeting will take place on Thursday, June 4, 2015 at Berkeley's Town Hall. Meeting is open to the public. In the wake of several cases around the United States involving accusations of police brutality in such cases like the Ferguson trial, Governor Christie and the New Jersey police have budgeted protection for their officers and civilians in New Jersey alike to serve and protect each other for a common good in the Garden State by adding body cameras to their uniforms. Northern Ocean Habitat for Humanity, located on Route 166 in Tom's River, have built a frame for a house destined for the Manitou Park section of Berkeley Township at a later date. Mayor Carmen F. Amato Jr. and the Township Council donated the specific lot in Berkeley Township at a council meeting recently. The foundations of the project were started this past weekend at the Jersey Shore Festival in Seaside Heights. With approximately 100 volunteers, workers, and board members combined, over the course of the weekend, Northern Ocean Habitat was able to go from the ground to near completion of a frame to bring awareness to the community of efforts brought to those in need of housing in our community. Despite the heat and rain, there was no shortage of team bonding, good humor, and fun by the entire work crew. However, in addition to being on a waiting list, their home repair program, they are short on funding for the house and encourage the public to contact them with any donation bequest. As you can see, the house looks in great shape, but it was taken down Monday and put into storage until more funding comes through. If you're looking to get involved and volunteer with Northern Ocean Habitat for Humanity, please visit nohfh.com or give us a call at 732-228-7962 for more information. You can also follow them on Twitter at NOH4H. Coming up next, I'll bring you through the latest sports scores and news. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Albert Pujols and I play baseball. Today I'm going to bat for kids who need dental care. Every child should be able to eat, sleep, and learn. But that's pretty hard to do when you have a toothache. Tooth decay is one of the leading reasons why kids miss school. The American Dental Association Give Kids a Smile program wants to help. Kids cannot be healthy without good dental health. Visit our website and give kids a big smile. Please visit our website at givekidsasmile.ada.org. Over the weekend, Mitt Romney and Evander Holyfield got into the ring together to raise money for Charity Vision Friday night in Salt Lake City. 
Although Romney lost to the former Great Holyfield, awareness was raised for a great cause, and the two of them certainly made the fight an entertaining one for sure. Around the NHL and NBA, it remains nail-biting time for what feels like every game going late and down to the final seconds. Locally, of course, the New York Rangers have made things interesting and, of course, a little stressing to their fan base by winning every postseason game by one goal. But hey, it's the playoffs and these things are bound to happen, right? No need to worry about their offense when King Henrik is net mining for the Rangers. Never fear, the King is here. The series is tied at one with game number three set for tonight in Tampa Bay at 8 p.m. on NBC Sports Network. Meanwhile, the Ducks and Blackhawks over in the Western Conference are now at a game apiece after last night's Three overtime thriller where the Blackhawks won in Anaheim, game three tomorrow night. In the NBA, the Warriors and Rockets in the Western Conference Finals stand at 1-0 Golden State after the Warriors 110-106 victory last night in game one in a thriller where Steph Curry's free throws at the end helped sink it for the Warriors. Game two will be tomorrow night in front of an excited Warriors fan base. Over in the Eastern Conference, the Cavaliers and Hawks play Game 1 tonight in Atlanta, where LeBron James and company look to upset the number one seeded Hawks at 8.30 on TNT. And finally in baseball, the Yankees play the second game of a two-game set tonight against the Nationals with Adam Warren on the mound after last night's heartbreaking 8-6 loss in 10 innings on a Ryan Zimmerman home run to right. The Mets play the Cardinals with Bartolo Colon on the mound tonight as they look to rebound from last night's blowout 10-2 loss to St. Louis at home. Coming up after the break, the fun stories of weather and more. Stay tuned. Something's happening to the polar bear. Arctic sea ice is melting away. Two thirds of the world's polar bears will be gone by 2050. And the entire species could be extinct yeah. by the end of the century. Go to SaveThePolarBear.org today. Upcoming on the Jersey Shore, the weather looks to be in good shape as we stay mostly in the 70s with a possible shower over the course of the Memorial Day weekend. And when, honestly, we could use probably a little bit of rain around the Jersey Shore. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Finally, what are your plans for this Memorial Day weekend? Barbecue? Beach? Just staying in? Playing wiffle ball in the backyard? Email me at show at gmail.com and let me know what your Memorial Day plans are, and they could be sent out on Twitter. Well, that'll do it for me here on set. Special thanks to the TV21 production crew and staff for having me in the studio for the news today. Enjoy the playoffs in the NBA and the NHL, and of course, have a wonderful and safe Memorial Day weekend. Have a great day, everybody. So long.